Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In the previous video in graphics module, we look into basics of plotting. Now we are going to take a look into mesh and surface plots. Apart from 2D plots, 3D plots are also available in MATLAB. A surface in MATLAB is defined by the Z coordinate of points above a grid in XY plane. These Z points are connected using straight lines through adjacent points. The mesh and surface functions display surfaces in three dimensions. So mesh produces a wireframe surface that color only the lines connecting the defining points. Whereas the surface displays both the connecting lines and as well as the faces of the surface in, in color. MATLAB colors surface by mapping Z data values to the indexes into figure color map. So in short, the plot on the left is a wireframe diagram and is a mesh plot, whereas the plot on the right is a surface plot. This is the image that clearly distinguishes between the mesh and the surface plot. We can visualize a function of two variables. Say for example, we have z is x plus y or like more known like z is equal to x square plus y square. For the same concept to implement in MATLAB, this is quite simple and is similar to the function of one variable. So what we are going to do is we create a vector x and vector y, do the necessary computation like z is equal to x plus y and then plot it using one of the functions like mesh grid. The mesh grid functions transform the domain specified by a single vector or two vectors into matrices that are used in evaluating functions of two variables. So mesh grid is used to create vectors x and vector y from a single dimensional or two dimensional matrices so that those vectors can be used to solve the functions like z is equal to x plus y or z is equal to x square plus y square. Now graphing sin c function. The cardinal sin function or sin c function is defined as sin x by x as highlighted in yellow. In the example I am going to show you so in the next slide I am evaluating sin r by r. Here r is the distance from origin in matrix form formed using two matrices x and y having relation as shown as r is equal to x square plus y square that is highlighted in blue. Here I am going to use mesh grid x y is equal to mesh grid of small x comma y transforms the domain specified by vectors x and y into arrays capital X and capital Y that can be used for evaluation of functions of two variables and 3D surface plots. The rows of output array x are copies of vector x and the columns of output array y capital Y are copies of vector small y. Here in this example using mesh grid I have created two vectors capital X and capital Y which I will be using in evaluating the function of two variable that is our R in equation x square plus y square and I am also going to add a little epsilon or EPS. EPS with no argument is the distance from one to the next larger double precision number that is EPS with no argument returns 2 raised to power minus 52. Now I will be evaluating the sin c of r and populate it in variable z. The mesh plot of x, y and z is shown. By default MATLAB uses a current color map to color the mesh. The EPS is added as to have a sur completely unbroken surface because at 0 r becomes 0. So there will we have a hole in the surface. So just to fill that surface we are using EPS. I am going to use the same example to make a colored plot. Here I will graph the sin c function as a surface plot, specify a color map and add a color ball to show the mapping of data to the color. A surface plot is similar to mesh plot except that the rectangular surfaces of the surface are colored. The color of each surface is determined by the values of z and the color map. A color map is nothing but an ordered list of colors. As you can see highlighted in yellow are the lines that I have used to plot a color map. I have surface I have plotted a surface plot of x, y, z, then I enabled the color map of HSV and then I showed the color bar. Transparent surface. I am going to use the same example to make a transparent plot. This is again based on the surface plotting as I will be reducing the transparency of rectangular surfaces of the plot. The code remains the same except where I add the alpha parameter. Alpha parameter has a value from 0 to 1 where 1 is completely opaque and 0 is completely transparent. So I have put a value like 0.4 which is equivalent to 40% opaque. Lighting. Lighting is technique of illuminating an object with a directional or a unidirectional light source. 
In certain cases, these techniques can make subtle differences in surface shape easier to see. Lighting can also be used to add realism to three-dimensional graphs. Here in the surface plot, I have given the plot a solid red color, removed all the edges, making plot a smooth red surface. To illuminate this, I use cam light that suggests the light source of direction from is coming from the point of view. Then I am setting the lighting as form. So this is what we get as the graph. Exploring the figure window. Exploring figure window. In figure window, we have a figure toolbar. In this, we have many options. We have option like zoom in where we can zoom into the plot. We have options like zoom out where we can zoom out of the plot. We have a pan tool where we can drag the plot. And when we double click using the pan tool, the view is reset to the normal. We have a rotate 3D tool using which we can get the top view, bottom view or well just any other view that we want. Data cursor. Using data cursor we can highlight the data points where we will see x, y and z value like in this case we have x of 1, 1 and 0.685. We can delete the same data point by right clicking and selecting delete all data tips. Data brushing, we have already seen this option in the previous video. We have the link plot option where we can link the common data plot points between two graphs. This also has been covered in the previous videos. We can insert a color bar if a color mapping has been enabled. We can insert a color bar. We can even insert a legend if we have multiple data plots on the same graph. In insert menu, we can add the X label like we do in the script. So I'm just going to write like X label. Similarly, we can add the Y label using the insert menu. I will just write Y label. We can also add the Z label. I will write Z label as Z label. And uh, we can add the title, say for example, surface plot. Similarly, using insert menu, we can add or remove legends by selecting legend we can add or remove color bar by selecting color bar from the insert menu itself there are many other options available as well but uh, i will make a separate video combining all the features of the figure window at a later stage so for now these are the basics of figure window and figure window toolbar one can also play around with the camera options that matlabs allows you to so why not try that as well to unlock the camera toolbar just go to view and click on camera toolbar a toolbar will come below the figure toolbar with the yellow icons that represent many camera options available. You can play around with it and explore it yourself. These options are quite simple. This concludes our video on uh, mesh and surface plots. In the next video, we are going to take a look at handling images in MATLAB. Till then, please subscribe and thanks for watching.